Today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best and most underrated blitz defenses in all of Madden 24. And this blitz concept is going to be coming out of the 3 4 odd formation. Now, I have a full defensive ebook that not only explains the pressure out of this a little bit more in depth, but it also explains how to use this defense to be able to shut down a variety of different offenses in this game, including some of the new rollout offenses, because this is going to do a really good job of being able to consistently keep contained. If you want to get my entire 3 4 odd defensive ebook, it's going to be available by becoming a school.com member. Uh, you can join the school page over at the link in the description down below. Those ebooks are also going to be good for Madden and for college football. So we're going to be doing a full year of content for both Madden and for college football, uh, for Madden 25, college football 25. So if you want to be a member to get access to all of the content we're going to be dropping over there, you can sign up down in the description. Now, the coaching adjustments for 3-4 odd, we're going to be turning our auto alignment onto base our option defense on conservative, and we're going to leave our zone coverage on default. Make sure your auto flip is off as it is the most important coach adjustment for the blitzing concept. We're then going to be coming out in the cover four quarters pretty much every single play, and we're going to go ahead and flip the play. What you're going to see in this is we're going to have this nice little A-gap blitzer right here, and we could do a lot with this player. All we're going to do to set this up is we're just going to uh, press our coverage. What's really unique about 3-4 odd is when you press – as you can see, the safeties come down in the box super, super deep, which allows us a lot of options in terms of our blitzes. The other thing that's really cool about 3-4 odd is when you pinch your defensive line, you see we're going to have a nice little angle, and we can actually move this linebacker over to the middle of the screen, as you can see. Now, this is our four-man pressure. I'm going to show you the five-man. It's a little bit better. But sometimes this four-man can come right up the A-gap at the opponent. Just depends kind of on how their pass protection is working. Then the next thing that we're going to be able to do, though, is we are simply going to uh, press, pinch our defensive line, just pinch your defense, and then you're just going to move this guy. Kind of, So you see how his blitz angle doesn't change? Just kind of move him right here, click on your user, and then you're going to hot blitz this outside linebacker. So you see here, this is kind of what the defense looks like. It's a little crossfire blitz, but it's always going to come in, as you can see, if they send five out. Now, another way to run this, if you wanted to do it a little bit differently than that, is you just would move this guy out a little bit, and you would still basically get the same kind of concept. And again, I like to kind of stand over here, and as you see, that A-gap blitz is going to hum right up the A-gap every single time. Now, the other cool part about this is you can craft some really unique coverages out of this defense, and the way that you want to do it, well, the, the way that you want to do that oftentimes is we're going to utilize a cover three to the wide side and a cover two to the short side to be able to slow down the quick passing, and then we're just going to use our user to take away the tight end wheel route in a vertical if they were to call verticals or really anything over the middle of the field. Now, the other cool part about this play is we can actually send both of these outside guys go ahead and send six at our opponent. Again, as you see, you don't want this guy to be super far down, and I like to QB contain. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to go ahead and move him back and kind of right in behind our user, and then we're just going to use her kind of right in here. And oftentimes, even if they block a running back, this blitz typically will come off the edge. It could come up the A-gap. There's a lot of different ways in which we can get this pressure in. So this is the 3-4 odd defense. As you see, if this linebacker ever does this, just pinch your defense. What I like to tell people is if you were to run this just like this right here, this five-man version can come right in the A-gap, as you see. But sometimes, because he's so close to the center, sometimes that center will be able to pick him up a little bit better. So what I like to do is simply pinch my defense, click onto him, kind of pull him over here, and then I'm basically good. This little four-man blitz is super good. A lot of people are sleeping on 3-4 odd because of the things you can do from a crossfire perspective and from a coverage perspective. If you guys want to get my full access to my entire 3-4 odd defensive ebook, I'm going to leave a, a link to that down in the description below. But this is one of my favorite defenses in the entire game, partially because the safeties get so far down in the box and partially because the blitz is absolutely incredible to, to uh, sign up for the site head down to the description and click the link down below